Hi, and welcome to today's book chat. So today I am going to talk about the novel Taking Stock by Scott Bartlett. And uh, let me show you this here. So, oh, oh, the light, oh, the light. There you go, you can see it. <laughs> All right, so I had first heard or I guess seen this book in a store when I had first moved to St. John's, Newfoundland, because um, this is a local Newfoundland author, author, and the cover that it had at that point, it didn't appeal to me at all, um, so I just passed it over. And then several months later, I saw it with a new cover, and suddenly I thought, hmm, I want to read this book, and so that was the cover that you just saw. Um, and so just to be upfront and honest, um, when I started reading this book, I didn't really know the author. I had met him once, I believe. Um, but since then, because I'm sometimes very behind on getting these book chats up, um, I know him a bit more and now we've hung out a few times. So hopefully I'll try not to let that influence my, uh, my thoughts on the book at all. But I just wanted to be out in the open about that. He's kind of a friend now. Okay, so... Um, I really enjoyed this book. Uh, right from the opening line, it was one of those ones that kind of hits you and just beautifully crafted. Um, the story is about Sheldon Mason, I believe, and he is a young man who has recently lost his mother and the story opens with him about to commit suicide. Now, someone comes in and interrupts him. He gets sent to uh, an institution, receives counseling, but he's still, when he leaves, in a very poor state of mind. And so what really made it for me in this book was the characters. Now, I had read a book of Scott's before, um, so if you've been following these book chats, you maybe heard me talk about that, Flight or Fight. And in that book, I really didn't care, not that I didn't care for the characters, I just wasn't very interested in, in them at all. Whereas in this book, it's the characters who absolutely made the story. Now, Sheldon was just almost perfectly written. Um, he's not overly likable, but who cares about that? He's incredibly interesting. Um, and actually, actually, yeah, I would say he is kind of likable in a different way. Um, he's the type of guy I've seen before. He's incredibly reserved. He's shy. He thinks deeply, but doesn't always express that to the people around him. He's socially awkward. And as I was reading it, I just felt like I've met this guy before. I've seen him at par parties, standing on the wall, trying to make some joke, um, and wondered what was going on with him, wondered what was in his mind. And through taking the stock, I felt like I was in the character's mind, um, just in a really compelling way. The other thing that was extremely compelling was the setting in this story. Sheldon ends up getting a job in a grocery store, and the grocery store absolutely becomes a character within the book. It's so, I don't know, just intricately written that I actually had to message Scott and ask him if he'd ever worked in a grocery store, because I couldn't believe that somebody who hadn't would be able to make it seem so lifelike and, and just so, so much like a character. And it turned out he had worked in the grocery store, but still kudos to him for, um, writing that so well. The other characters were very interesting as well. Very awful, awful people, most of them. Um, and again, that's not something that bothers me at all. So I, I think I probably said just about enough. If uh, this story interests you, it's one that, one that deals with uh, depression, with other mental health issues, with a lot of drug usage, it has a lot of language. So if any of those things are real turn-offs for you, this might not be the book for you, but if they don't bother you, I think there's a really good chance you'd enjoy it. Um, one other thing that was interesting is that I wouldn't say that the story really ended, and I know that really bothers some people, but again, I'm someone who doesn't mind it because life doesn't end, and I don't think, I mean, life does end, <laughs> obviously, but, um, in general, when we're reading about a character, everything gets tied up really neatly in the story, but that's not realistic because how often in life does it feel like things are tied up? So uh, it doesn't bother me when there's not that wrap up. And I actually kind of like that about this book. I think a strong wrap up would have maybe taken away from, I guess, the force that the story had. So again, that is Taking Stock by Scott Bartlett. And if you head over to my website, you'll find some links to the book, to the author's website, 
And you can also find some links to uh, my books that you can get for free if you sign up for my newsletter. So if you happen to read Taking Stock, let me know. Come on over, leave a comment, and I'd love to hear what you think. Have a great day.